Hey, pressure is a necessary part of sales. It's going to happen. You've got to apply pressure in order to force a decision. But many times customers are going to apply pressure to you. And so when customers apply pressure to you as a salesperson, I want you to think and process itself. For instance, if a customer is out there working with you and all of a sudden they say, look, I just want to know what your rock bottom price is, Marsh. What you've got to think of is you've got to think in process. I realize my process is I got to get these customers to drive the vehicle in order to take mental ownership of the vehicle itself. If a customer says, hey, I just want to work the figure. I realize my process is I got to get them inside, written up, overcome any sort of objections that they have, and that way I can start moving my deal forward. If the customer just wants to know what uh, they apply the pressure on, what's my trade worth, I realize the process is, number one, I got to get them landed on a vehicle. Number two, I got to have their vehicle properly evaluated. And number three, they got to be seated, written up so that I can move my deal forward itself. If you think about it, athletes do this all the time, right? When they're in pressure cooker situations, they're process driven. Now in sports, they call it mechanics. So it's the mechanics of everything that they do. For us as sales athletes, it's the process that we have to go from one step to the next. It's not about selling the vehicle itself. It's about going to that next step, to that next process. Look, pressure may burst the pipe, but process, that'll explode your sales. Until next time, I'm Marsh Bison. I'll see you on the blacktop.